Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's video of the 52 week project. I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to get this one up and I know I've been very uh, slack with YouTube lately. It's been a little bit tough because I am currently in the process of moving back to Melbourne. So that has been very hectic over the last few weeks. There's a lot that I actually need to catch you guys up on because I also have a new job um, that I did get and uh, I really want to chat to you guys more about that, but for now I'm just going to leave it as I got a new job and I'm moving back to Melbourne and that's why I haven't been posting much lately, but I will be getting a little bit more up. Hopefully in the next few weeks, once we've moved in, settled in, I finally have some sort of an office environment again after six months of traveling and moving around and just general craziness. So I'm really excited for that. But anyway, on with this video. So this week's photo shoot was done actually back in April. So this is how behind I am at the moment. And I'm aware that I really need to plan some shoots as soon as I do get back to Melbourne. But anyway, so we're looking at back in late April, once I came home from overseas, and I did a photo shoot in a studio in Melbourne, one of my favorites. I was so proud of myself on this shoot because I really did plan everything to a T. And I think that sometimes that is my downfall, but I really felt like this time I planned the mood board really well. And I think everyone had a really good sense of what was going on in the day. Um, so the, the whole creative team kind of knew what was happening. And that made me feel so much more confident and so much more in control of this shoot. First off, I'm going to show you guys some behind the scenes from the day that my boyfriend kindly took. And you guys can see uh, what was going on in the studio, what kind of lighting setup I had at the time. Um, keep in mind that I am still quite new with studio. I don't really get to do it a lot and I've only sort of dabbled a bit in it over the last few years. However, studio is actually starting to become one of my preferred methods of, of actually doing photo shoots and I'm really loving experimenting so much with studio lighting and with beauty photography in particular. Um, I actually did another couple of beauty shoots on this particular day after this photo shoot but they'll be for future weeks of the 52 week project. Uh, but yeah I'm going to show you some behind the scenes now and you guys can see the lighting setups and what was going on in the day.
you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes. So now I'm going to go through the photos that I took, the final edits, and talk about what I think I could have done a little bit better and what I think I did well this week. And I'm also going to give a rundown of each photo and tell you guys what my favourites were for the week. Now guys, I'm going to go into my usual uh, breakdown of all the images that I took and which ones are going to be in my top five for the week. So this first photo I converted into black and white and unfortunately it was one of those photos I thought was actually going to be better on screen, on a uh, bigger screen when I saw it on camera. but. I liked it, but it wasn't one of my favorites from the week. Um, I like how it shows off the hair and makeup in this particular shot, but I'm not completely sold on the overall shot itself. I think um, I think there needs to be a little bit more interest created in the photograph, and for that reason, it's not going to be my top five this week. This is another photo that I took on the white backdrop, and unfortunately for the white backdrop, I wasn't a huge fan of it for this particular shoot. I thought it was going to turn out a lot better, but instead it was kind of washing out some of the clothing and probably would have been better with the black clothing that we used uh, later on in the shoot. So I kind of wish we had to swap those clothes around. And because I just really didn't like how the clothing was turning out against the white backdrop, it wasn't unfortunately my favorite shot for the week. So it won't be in my top five. This particular shot is actually one of my absolute favorites from the week. And it's one of my favorite studio portraits I think that I've taken. I really like how everything came together in this shot. I like the white clothing, the contrast of that against the backdrop that I used and I really like the backdrop that I did use in this particular part of the shoot because I think it really it really brought all the neutral colors from the shoot together because it was a very neutral shoot so I was really happy with how this came out I like the lighting the clothing is probably a little bit overexposed now that I'm looking at it but overall I really do like the shot and it is going to be my top five this week. This particular shot I'm not as much a fan of. I think the composition for me is just not working as much as I thought it would. Um, I think for me if I was to take the shot again I probably would have got her hand in this particular shot and um, usually cutting off limbs is not always an issue for me but I think in this shot there is just something a little bit off about the left side of the image and I think that's bothering me too much to have it in my top five. This is another one of my favorites for the week and like the other shot that I took I really like how everything came together in the end and I really like how in this shot it's a full profile you can see the hair and the makeup and how really cool and detailed the hair actually is and that's really props to the hairstylist Simone on the day she's amazing and she did such a great job uh, so I really like showing that detail in that and I like the pose as well I think it's really relaxed and really cool so that is going to be in my top five for the week this is also going to be in my top five for the week and I'm really happy that I got a full body shot that I was really happy with in the end. I think the shadows down the bottom still bother me a little bit from the chair and more or less leading into the backdrop. Uh, I did have to do a bit of post-processing there, but you can actually, I, I feel like you can tell that I've done post-processing there. I maybe didn't do it to the best of my ability, unfortunately. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit uh, at the end of the video, but I think I was probably not as great with moving the lights around to where they should have been and getting rid of the shadows, uh, as particularly in the full body shots. So that's one thing that I felt like I could be, improve on this week. And one thing that I'm not particularly happy with in this shot, but everything else I really do like. And I like Boston's expression. I love her pose. It's really relaxed. It's really cool. And I really like 
the neutral colors and how they all come together in this shot also. This shot isn't going to be in my top five this week. And although I do like the pose, I feel like I just could have done something a little bit extra with this shot. And to be honest, I think this would have worked better maybe as either a closer in or a full body shot, not sort of midway. I think it's just not quite the right composition for what I would like in this shot. And I probably could have cropped it in a little bit, but I feel like I had stronger photos overall from this week, so it's not going to be in my top five. I do really like this shot, although it's just not as strong, I feel, as some of the other shots from the week. And I really did like the white outfit that we chose in the previous shots, and I think that helped it really stand out. Maybe if Boston was doing the exact same pose in the other outfit, I probably would have liked this a little bit more. But I think something's just not really reaching out to me with this shot and it's it's not really creating enough interest. This shot is going to be in my top five this week and I really like the fact that I got to have a black and white image this week again. So I think that this really shows off the hair once again and the detail in that. And also I kind of like the way that it's a little bit different to a lot of the other shots, the way that she's looking and it's sort of like a downward tilt to the head as well. So I like that it's a little bit different and that's why it's going to be my top five. I do actually really like the composition of this shot. Now I know I was talking about cutting off limbs before and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this particular shot, I feel like it does I don't know, some people might disagree with me there, uh, but I do like the composition of where she is sitting in the shot and where her head is positioned as well. I feel like there's just not quite enough interest, once again, for me in this shot, and I think that might come down to the clothing choice. I feel like the white just really popped against the background as opposed to the black in some of the shots, and I really feel like if we had some white clothing in this shot, it would have really uh, created a little bit more contrast in the middle of the photograph. So that's why it's not going to be in my top five. This shot is going to be my top five this week, and I really like how the makeup and hair turned out in this particular shot as well, especially the makeup. I think it really shows in this in this shot, and I really like the pose. I really kind of like the tilt of Boston's head as well in this particular shot, and I like that it's a little bit closer in as well. I didn't take too many really close-up shots, but this was one of them, and that's why it's going to be my top five. It was a bit of a tie between the last shot and this shot for what I wanted in my top five this week, but eventually I did choose the previous shot because I felt like in this shot, I just wasn't really doing the photograph enough justice and the composition's not quite there for me once again. I think that there's maybe not enough expression, although it does show off the hair really nicely with the profile. Uh, I think that there's a few things that could have been just changed with this shot and made a little bit more interesting, but essentially that's why it won't be in my top five. So guys, this is going to be my number one photo for the week. I'm just really happy with how the pose and how the clothing and hairstyling, everything came together in this particular shot. I really, really love how how it turned out and this was really basing it off the mood board that I had so so I was really stoked with the end result and that's why it's my number one for the week. I hope you enjoyed this week's photos guys so I'm going to tell you guys now what I think I could have done a little bit better this week. So personally I think that I could have worked with the lighting a little bit better and I think there were times where I felt rushed and I was being a little bit lazy when it came to uh, especially the full body shots and I didn't get the ones that I really wanted out of the shoot because I just wasn't adjusting the lighting enough and figuring out how to get rid of certain shadows. So it actually did make me have a little bit more work in post-production which was frustrating and that is something that I'm still getting used to is getting the lighting right first off the bat and you don't have to do as much post-processing because getting rid of shadows in Photoshop is never that fun and particularly with full body shots where you're looking at quite a bit of shadow it's really quite frustrating and it can sometimes ruin the quality of an image when you have to do that in post-processing so that's what I felt like I could have improved on. Uh, for what I think I did well I think like I said at the beginning of the video, my organization for this week was pretty good. And I think my mood board was really good and on point. And I think it really helped everyone get a good sense of what we were after within the shoot. So I think that's what I did well this week. Now I'm going to announce this week's featured photographer. So it is Ryan Deloney and they are on the 52 week project group on Facebook and amazing work, just amazing work. I'm going to put a few images in this video and, and link to their social media accounts below. But I was just so impressed with how beautiful the photos were uh, from this week. And I had to feature Ryan. I'm really just getting more and more amazed each week actually at, at the work coming out of this group. I mean, it's really interesting and inspiring to see other people doing so well with their projects and it's 
kind of motivating me to get my butt into action with my own projects. So I'm really excited to see what everyone else is coming up with for future weeks and excited to feature even more photographers in these videos. So anyway guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And please let me know what you want to see in terms of uh, extra things added into these videos or maybe even certain parts of them removed. Tell me what you want to see and what you like about these videos and I'll see what I can do in future weeks and see what I can do to kind of spice them up a little bit more and make them a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!